Well guys, I imagine this place looks familiar because we are back out on the California Delta today. Stop number three of the Major League Fishing Toyota Series. Um, I'm doing the Western Division this year. And two of the tournaments were at the Delta. We went to Havasu, then the Delta, and we're back again. This is the final one of the year for the MLF Toyota Series stuff. Um, trying to make the championship. So I need to have a good tournament. I'm sitting 26th in points right now, and I need to finish in 25th in order to make the championship. For anybody new, my name is Matt Luna, and thanks for clicking on today's video. I make tackle making videos, on the water fishing videos, tournament fishing videos, and how to stuff. So that sounds like videos that you want to watch, make sure to click that subscribe button. And if you end up liking today's video, make sure to hit that like button. If you followed my content last time we were out here on the Delta, the fishing was brutal. I caught four fish the entire trip, which is way unusual for the Delta. Um, I watched a weigh in for a big tournament we got going on out here right now, and uh, seemed like the fishing picked up. There were still some guys that struggled, but there was a lot of guys that did say they caught a lot of fish. So there's fish biting somewhere on the Delta. We just gotta figure out how to find them in three and a half days. We got a little one. <clears throat> we caught a bass on the first day at the Delta. It's amazing. It's amazing. That guy ain't gonna do it for the tournament though. Well, we've been fishing for a couple hours now and we caught a fish already, which is much better than last time. Um, that was a little guy. It's gonna take more fish than that for sure. I can't catch five of those and expect to compete with these guys out here, but we got one in the boat, which is definitely an improvement from the last time we were at the Delta. Um, I'm gonna start fishing a little bit different. Um, I went all the way to the back to like a dead end slough um, just to see if there was anything back there. Kind of didn't look very good. I mean, the water looked good, but I just, I saw a couple like small ones up there, shallow. But uh, I just, I gotta get my bearings a little bit more. Like the first day you ever come back somewhere, it's like always kind of funky. But uh, we're just gonna keep plugging away, just go fish and uh, hopefully we can put something together. I'm gonna start fishing some of these islands in these dead end sloughs. Um, these fish should be moving there because um, it's spawn. They should be like moving back into those areas to spawn. Got him! Chatterbait. <sighs> Little one. Little guy. But we caught two today. <laughs> take it. At this point, I'll take it. Little one. Well, that was pretty cool. Second bite of the trip so far. And I uh, got it on a chatterbait. And I got the dual molds quake and shad for my trailer. I make that bait myself uh, with the Quake and Shad Do It Mold. I just got bit again right here next to the boat. So I don't know, maybe with this tide change in, we got a lot more current right here and a little point where these fish might have just pulled up. A uh, good little spot. There we go. There we go. little one I think it's a little one but we got another one oh no that's a decent one a little three pounder a little three pounder this guy smashed it put slack in my line chatterbaiter mm -hmm.
because I'm going to show you this Airbnb that we got. It's a little tiny spot right next to the water. Great little spot. I don't know what the name of it or anything like that is, but it's a good little spot. Um, Ernie, one of the guys that I'm staying with, he's not here right now. They're over at like the restaurant bar having a drink right now, but uh, he got it and we're staying in the same group that we did last time. And uh, we got a different house this time. It's like a three story little deal. And uh, we got a different one this time. It's a little small spot and I'm going to show you guys right now. So right here we have the kitchen and it's always nice to have a microwave and a refrigerator to keep stuff cold. Be able to make those breakfast breeze and stuff in the morning and then we got the living room and then we got Ernie's room and then we got my room. I'm not sure if there's anybody staying in here with me or not. Casey might be on the couch and then we got the world's smallest bathroom and the smallest shower ever. Well guys, not a bad first day of practice out here on the Delta. Um, could have been better obviously, but definitely could have been worse. Uh, the last trip I had out here was just brutal in terms of the fishing and just getting bites. So going out there for you know a few hours this afternoon and getting a few bites is definitely a plus. But tomorrow we're definitely going to get after it. And we got a lot of work to do because we need to make this championship and we need to do well in this event to do that. Well, good morning, everybody. Second day out here for practice on the Delta. And uh, it's blowing out here today. Um, it's got to be like... 20 25 maybe 30 mile an hour some pretty good gusts coming through as well but uh looking forward to getting out here looking forward to going fishing and uh, hopefully figuring out some of these delta bass but i got to show you guys something in my truck when i get over to it um on the way up here i slept in the back of my truck and i bought this air mattress off amazon and it was clutch so i'm going to show you guys and i'll drop a link down in the description of the video if you want to pick it up but that thing was a game changer i slept super good in the back of the truck it's an air mattress specifically designed for your truck let's check it out it's pretty rad, I'm not gonna lie. It was super comfortable to sleep back there the other night. As you can see, we got the air mattress on top of the back seat, and then there's also a part that inflates that fills up the gap where your feet would normally go. So that way you can like lay diagonal, you can stretch out. It's like basically sleeping in a legitimate bed. Um, I've tried sleeping in here without it, and I was all cramped up, and you had to like stay all snugged up and tight and curled up. But with this, I could stretch out. It was just super comfortable. And they're like 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. So they're super cheap, but definitely recommend it if you travel a lot. So uh, check out the link down below. We made it out here on the water. Day two of practice starts right now. Not sure what we're gonna do, not sure where we're gonna fish. We're just gonna drive around and find what looks good. Let's go. Well, we just got bit on the jerk bait. Wasn't a big one, but it was a bite nonetheless. It was right on this dock. I don't know if that's a pattern that will get bit on, but I think they're using this dock for cover during this lower tide. So that was pretty cool to get a little bite. I was fishing it pretty slow. And yesterday I was fishing everything pretty fast. So I have a feeling that probably impacted some of the bites that I was getting, but we got the six cents provoke on right now. And uh, I got a bite early in the morning. Well guys, it's straight up brutal down here. I don't know what to go do. I've thrown a chatterbait, thrown a Senko, flipped, spinnerbaited. If I haven't drop shot it, I've just regular flipped, I've punched. I've done a lot of stuff today, covered a lot of water, been to a lot of different parts of the, of the Delta, and uh, no dice, it's just tough out here right now. Well guys, day two of practice was pretty brutal. Ran a lot of new water and uh, just didn't come together. I got a couple bites, one on a jerkbait in the morning and then one on a chatterbait, I think it was, later on. No, squarebill later on in the day. 
But overall, really, really tough. Gonna fish a whole different part of the delta tomorrow and hopefully stumble upon some active feeding fish to give me, you know, somewhere to finally feel like I have a place to go. Right now, I don't have that, but uh, you know, just gonna keep grinding, gonna keep plugging away. Still got two more days to figure it out and uh, looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Well guys, it's day number three out here on the Delta. Fishing's been tough, but uh, we still got two more days to figure it out. Uh, I was hoping that it was gonna be better because the first day I was here, I ended up getting a few bites in a short period of time. But after that, it just got straight up tough out here. Um, fished all day yesterday and I uh, got two bites and they were two of the wrong kind. So we got a lot of work to do. Still, in these last couple days, definitely need to find some areas to be able to, you know, go target and find a game plan. So we're gonna fish hard the next two days and hopefully put some together. Well, that's definitely not the ones we're after, but it was nice to finally pull on one for a little bit, even though there wasn't much to pull on. But it's been a while since I caught one, and this is doing something a little bit different. Finally found a lot of clear water, and I uh, figured the jerk bait might work well. The grass is a little bit deeper right here, so picked it up and haven't been fishing it too, too long, and got a bite. Well, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it's the last day on the Delta for practice. Uh, not gonna get a full day in today because we have to go to a mandatory meeting. It's the first mandatory meeting we've had for like registration and like the rules and everything that we've had since COVID. And uh, we're not happy about it. It was nice doing everything on the, on the phone, on the computer, just listening in. But this time we've got a in-person mandatory 
meeting, got to register around like two o'clock, between two and four, and then we have a mandatory meeting at 4.30. So I'm gonna have to get off the water earlier than I'd like, but that's just part of the deal, and everybody's in the same boat. So we're just gonna go fishing and try to figure out some of these fish. Got some bites yesterday, didn't get the right bites, but uh, hopefully that changes today. There we go. There we go. A little five pounder maybe. Not bad. Choke that chatterbait, man. Well, guys, these are the kind that we're after right there. Not bad. Well guys, we are kind of running out of time here. It's about 11.30 and uh, we're gonna have to get off the water early today because we gotta get to the meeting and everything. Um, today was productive though because I kind of feel like I have an idea of what I can do along some of the rip riprap. I feel like I have an idea of what I can do with the islands and stuff. And that gives me a, a ton of water to fish, unfortunately, but fortunately at the same time. So I can run and gun. Um, I found some little nuances I think that'll be helpful. Um, I'm just not getting those bigger bites, which which I'm gonna need. There, there's gonna be guys that catch big bags in this tournament. Um, but, you know, goal number one is to make the championship. So I need to, you know, put a couple halfway decent bags together in order to do that. And then second goal is to cash check in this deal, which is gonna take some pretty good bags and then Goal number three is to win this thing, and that's gonna take giant bags. So we got a few different goals in mind, and uh, we're just grinding it out, going spot to spot to spot, and I think that's what we're gonna have to be doing tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna have to fish slow through the areas, but then go through a lot of different areas, if that makes sense, like smaller stretches, smaller little areas on spots, and then just keep going and going and going and trying to just cover a lot of water. Well guys, that's a wrap for practice. Practice was better than last tournament for sure. A lot more bites. Got a few good bites here and there mixed in, um, but hoping tomorrow I can really push the areas that I did find 
and really, you know, put something together and hopefully, you know, lean on them a little bit more than I did in practice to try to, you know, get a couple more good bites from some of those islands and some of that riprap and stuff like that. But probably going to be fish and reaction most of the time, chatterbait, spinnerbait, crankbait, stuff like that. I did rig up some finesse stuff. And I did rig up some slower flipping and Senko and stuff like that. We're just going to give it a go see how things go. Um, boat 64. So I got, you know, a long day tomorrow. Blast off at 630. Weigh-ins at 3. Hoping for the best tomorrow and I'll see you guys in the morning. See ya. There we go. Well guys, it's day one out here, California Delta, Major League Fishing Toyota Series event. Practice was okay, I guess. Caught some fish, which is a plus compared to the last time we were out here. Um, caught a few good ones, no giants, but I caught a couple fours and a five, and uh, we're gonna need those come tournament time in order to really compete and uh, have a good tournament. So, probably gonna throw a lot of reaction stuff today, especially in the morning. And then depending on the conditions, depending on the wind and stuff like that, we'll have to just kind of play it by ear. Really counting on that reaction bite early to uh, get some fish in the boat. But we got to go do blast off. Uh, MLF does a prayer, national anthem, all that stuff. And then we'll blast off and uh, hopefully put some, some good fish in the boat. Good morning, and welcome to the 2023 Cup. Guys, it got cold out here last night. Got the beanie on right now. It's gonna be a cold first morning run. Uh, we did the national anthem. We did the prayer. Now they're calling boat numbers. We're boat 64. We only got 69 in the tournament. Um, so we're last flight, almost last boat. So we got a little while to wait, but we're gonna be blasting off and going fishing here in, in a few minutes. All right, first spot. Gonna start off with the old red, red spinner bait. Caught a big one on this last tournament, so hopefully we can get another big one on it today. There we go. There we go. Gunks off the board. On the board. On the board. Two pounder. Take it. Take any of them. All right, we're on the board. We got a bit of ass in the boat. The old do it mold spinner bait. Just slow rolling it along the toolies. Just grinding it through. And uh, we got that bite. Hopefully we can get a couple more real quick and uh, you know feel good about this a little bit better. There we go. Little one. Go down, I'll figure it out in a minute. There we go. That's a little bit better one. Stay on. Uh, I felt like it was better, but just we'll a keeper. It. Just to keep her out. Uh oh, it's all right. I can fix it. Damn. Uh, damn, it's a little one, man. Uh, 
There we go. Man. These things need to grow, man. We got a small limit, but we definitely need to do some upgrading by like lots of pounds in order to really be in the mix, but it's nice to have a limit. It's about 10, 15 right now. So no complaints there, but we definitely need to get bigger. We fished our asses off all day and uh, it was a grind. No more bites pretty much after like 11 o'clock. It just shut off for us. Um, I got five and my partner got three. So we got fish in the boat, but definitely not the right kind. Um, we'll go see how we did. I probably have, I don't know, eight, 10 pounds, something, something like that. It's pretty small, but uh, at least we got some fish in the boat. Behind them, two bass on the. I'll hold this, you take a picture with that fish. Trash bag on an ugly day. Five, Sal. Can't roll her, can't roll her, right? Pretty safe, buddy. Come on, man. Let's go. We got the family out here. I saw her letter up there. Matt Luna, Santee, California pro with the limits. We're in the game. Let's go tomorrow for kickers. Just swing for the fences. He's got five on the skills that weigh eight pounds and nine ounces. Hog hunting tomorrow, son. Hog hunting. Well guys, we weighed a little under nine pounds, which isn't what we want out here on the Delta, but it kept us in the hunt. If I can go out and catch 16 tomorrow, um, I can definitely make the top 25. And if I can have a good third day, um, you know, we could really make a move and really get in the mix on some of the stuff. 23 pounds is leading the event. The cut line is at 12. So if I need, I, I'm gonna need around, you know, 16 pounds in order to have a sure shot at making the top 25 cut. That's what I'm hoping for. We're gonna go out there and, you know, wind that spinnerbait around. Try to stay in a little bit um, dirtier water. Not like not like chocolate milk, but a little bit stained. I think I got more bites in that stained water than I did in the clear water. So I think we're gonna stay around some of that stuff and uh, just wind that spinnerbait around and uh, hopefully get some good bites. Um, we got a bunch of bites when we committed to it earlier this morning, but we just gotta, you know, I think put it in our hand even more and just stay in some of that dirty water and uh, get a bigger bite. The spinnerbait bite is probably what's leading the event right now. So the big ones are eating the spinnerbait. So just gonna put that thing in my hand and, and go to work. There we go. Boat six. All right, 
right, good morning guys. Day number two out here on the Delta. Looking for a bag. The weather's warming, so the fishing should get better day by day. I think I'm gonna need probably around 16 in order to get into the, the cut for sure. Actually, goal number one is to get enough weight to get into the championship for this year. Goal number two, make it into the top 25. 16 pounds is definitely doable out here. I think I'm doing the right stuff to get those bites. We got a shorter day today. We're boat number six out today and uh, we're in at 2.30. Tide's gonna be pulling out most of the day, so hopefully we can take advantage of that current pulling out and uh, get some big bites. Good morning, anglers! And welcome to day two! The Toyota Series Western Division presented by Psycho Tuna. Your official time is 6.26. the tiny one but at least we're on the board my co-angler just caught one right after me it was a, it wasn't a keeper but hopefully that just means the tide's starting to get right and these fish are going to start biting because there's usually a window in the morning where you can get these bites it just changes by the day because of the tide changes and the current changes there we go uh, I don't know. Yeah, just that's ah, little, it's little. Well, guys, it's almost 11 o'clock, and uh, we still got one fish in the boat. It's brutally tough out here. Um, I'm kind of, kind of clueless right now. I flipped it a little bit. I've thrown the spinner bait, chatter bait. My co angler's throwing a drop shot, Senko, all this low stuff, and nothing's happening. So we're just gonna keep. Uh, driving around, finding new places to fish, and then, you know, hopefully we land on them and we're able to put some fish in the boat. fished hard we did what we thought we could do to get bites and it just didn't come together 
I wish we would have came to the track earlier in the day. We probably could have drop shot a few. I think this late tide coming in along with this heat got those fish to start biting. And I think a lot of guys are gonna catch some fish in this last half hour when we had to, you know, check in at 2.30 instead of having the late day today. I think that's gonna help some people. California Pro had eight and a half pounds on day one. We'll go out there today and catch three bass that come in at four pounds and nine ounces. Matt, appreciate you, man, for fishing with us. A tough one on you. God bless. Safe travels, man. Josh Hanna, Danville, California. Coast. Well, guys, three fish ain't going to cut it out there on the Delta. Struggled big time on day two out there. Only three fish, and they were all little. The sad thing is, is I really think that if we would have been able to have that later weigh-in, we would at least had a limit on the boat. Limit wouldn't have done much, but it probably would have got me into the championship because not only did I bomb that tournament and finish in 55th out of 69, I ended up dropping four spots in the overall standings and I missed making the championship. To take the top 25 and I finished in 30th. So we failed on multiple fronts out there on the Delta. It was pretty frustrating. I was doing the right stuff to get the right bites. I just couldn't get those bites. And um, I was in good areas as well, historically. But uh, those just weren't the right areas to be in for this specific tournament. It's unfortunate. It's a learning curve. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching all the Major League Fishing coverage that we had this season so far. Stay tuned to the channel and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit it already. I'll see you in the next video.